Today I want to take you through an entire day of cooking from the perspective of a broke college student. And it's gonna be really easy for me to take that role because I am a broke college student. When people think of student meals or cheaper meals, they think of these bland, greasy, low effort dishes that are probably not that good for you. And while there's nothing wrong with grabbing the occasional frozen pizza or like an instant mac and cheese, I wanna show you how you can step it up without much effort or extra cost. Does that sound good? I'm gonna make sure all these dishes take less than 30 minutes to make with low difficulty because I know just how lazy you are. They all cost me less than two dollars to make and they all add up to 625 for the whole day also i will make sure they're nutritious i know your parents aren't making food choices for you anymore but don't worry parents i'll step in relax the title of this video says healthy student cooking but i want to make sure you understand that healthy is an umbrella term that varies from person to person when i say healthy i mean these dishes are generally rich in quality nutrients and they may be better choices for your body than some other godforsaken college student meals with that out the way let's start our day oh that rhymed damn if you're like me, morning is the peak I hate my lifetime. And to get over that, we need to maximize taste and nutrition without much effort. For me, that means no pans, no heat, no cooking. I only want to deal with something I can assemble quickly that's going to kickstart my day just right. Oats are our ultimate ally here. They're super cheap, they're a great source of carbs and fiber, so they'll keep you full for a long time. You can do a lot with them, people soak them overnight, but I feel like that's a bit unnecessary. This is my go-to way of preparing them. This apple is our main source of sweetness, so we'll start by using half of it to grate it. Scrape that grater so we don't waste any of that apple goodness. To that we're gonna add some sort of yogurt. I prefer soaking my oats in yogurt. It adds creaminess and tanginess and a lot of health benefits. Also cinnamon, of course, I love cinnamon. Mix that together and add your oats. About 40 grams seems to do it for me. Mix them together with the yogurt and let it soak for about 5 minutes up to 10 minutes. It should turn soft but not overly soft, you know what I mean? In the meantime we can chop the other half of that apple. And I know I said no pans but this is not mandatory. You can toast your apples with some oats and some chopped water walnuts. I like doing this because it adds a bit of crunch to an otherwise pretty mushy dish. I'm also adding some cinnamon to add the taste of cinnamon and we're essentially ready. I like to spread my soaked oats in a wide bowl to increase the surface area of my topping. Also maybe another dollop of fresh yogurt and a drizzle of honey. This breakfast comes out to 125 per portion so you don't have to worry about breaking the bank with this. Most days you won't be in the mood to put a lot of effort into your breakfast, I know. So something like this is the ideal solution in my opinion. Now that your brain was hard at work, it's time to refuel it with a quick and satisfying lunch. I don't like a heavy lunch because it completely derails my day and it makes me want to take a nap forever. So I'll usually have something that's more balanced. And you guys know that I love my wraps, so let's make a lunch wrap. We're gonna use chicken thigh for this, they're a bit cheaper than breast and also way more flavorful because of the higher fat content. Let's cut the thighs into strips and because we're lazy we don't want to clean a lot of dishes let's season them on the cutting board directly. You can really choose anything here this is just what I had quick access to. Don't forget to wash your hands by the way. Now in a really hot pan we're gonna cook this chicken until it's cooked. Chicken thigh is pretty hard to screw up but still make sure you're not overcooking it. Oh also you want to try to get these brown spots on the chicken that's where all the flavor lies. Now let's make a quick sauce here. I'm feeling a honey chili sauce to go with this wrap. I'll start with, you guessed it, some yogurt. Add some salt, some chili powder, garlic powder, some chili flakes, and also add your favorite hot sauce. Right now I'm loving this chipotle cholula. Also a drizzle of honey to balance out that heat. Mix everything up. Oh, and I almost forgot, squeeze in some lime juice, preferably a lime that's juicier than mine. Preferably a lime that's juicier than mine. And you should end up with a sauce like this. I like freshness in my lunch wrap. And for that I got my good old tomatoes and some iceberg lettuce for that crispy watery crunch. Salt your tomatoes before they go on the wrap and just set aside. Now you want to slightly heat up your tortilla. You'll notice that it's much more pliable and easier to wrap. It only takes a few seconds. And now let's assemble. Start with a generous sauce spread. Add your chicken, your tomatoes, your lettuce, and also some fresh cilantro. 
it takes this from good to great now we gotta wrap this so fold in the sides and using your thumbs you want to wrap the tortilla over your fillings fold in those lateral flaps and complete your roll if you need a more in-depth explanation watch my wrap video now let's cut through this and see what we've made look at that perfectly balanced nutritious and it's also cheap this cost me 165 per wrap I think of wraps as little containers of goodness that you can just take with you everywhere. They're perfect for a quick, cheap lunch, and maybe you can even make them the day before. That's even easier. That's if you don't mind the sogginess. I personally don't, but I don't know about you. Almost every day I'll have a craving for an afternoon snack. Maybe I'm just finishing up my work day and I feel like I need a little happiness in my life. And snacks make me happy. It's basically bean salad on a cracker. <laughs> and I know it doesn't sound exciting, but for me this hits the spot. First I'm gonna take a spinning cucumber and violently cut it into cubes. And then I'm gonna do the same for a spinning tomato and also a non-spinning hot pepper. These are my veggies of choice for my bean salad. As far as the beans go, the more variety the better. This brand makes this bean variety can. You got kidney beans, chickpeas, white beans, lots of beans. So I'm just using like a quarter of that. Now I'm gonna add all my veggies from before plus a ton of cilantro, some salt, a big squeeze of lime, and the cherry on top is a few capers for that extra kick. Now mix all that up and you can eat it like this, but I like putting it on these whole wheat thin wafers, cracker things. I have no idea what they're called. I also like adding some yogurt, of course, as a base for the bean salad. And that's my snack. Two of these things cost $1.55, maybe a bit expensive, but I personally love it. And this thing is very light, but definitely doesn't feel like an empty snack. It still feels very satisfying. Plus, it has beans, so it's guaranteed to make me happy. For dinner, I think we should all be treating ourselves a bit. You know you've been through a lot today and you deserve a little self-love. And these days I've been absolutely loving noodles in general. And not like Italian pasta noodles, more like Asian style noodles. And what I'm gonna do is take your classic ramen noodle that you would find in an instant ramen package and just take them to the next level with these chili garlic noodles with a tofu twist. We only need about half a block and we're gonna pat it dry with a paper towel. With a fork we're gonna start crumbling this tofu so it's almost gonna be like minced meat but it's tofu anyways in a hot well-oiled pan we're gonna start frying the tofu we want to get it crispy and to it we're adding some green onion a red chili sliced and just a bunch of garlic and ginger that i kind of minced together all these flavors should get nice and toasty and they should start smelling like like heaven really <laughs> When the tofu is nice and crispy, we can start working on our sauce by first adding a drop of dark soy sauce. Continue to cook that until the tofu turns dark. And now we're gonna hit this with a few liberal squirts of oyster sauce, along with some water to get things a bit more saucy. When things are looking moist and thick, that means the pan is ready to receive your nudes. So just make sure those are cooked and ready. Add them in, mix them up, and make sure to add a ton of green onion and maybe some leftover chili slices if you have them available you're pretty much done and you can eat this straight out of the pan or if you're a bit classier put it in a bowl and enjoy the street for only one dollar and eighty cents and that pretty much concludes it sometimes maybe i'll have another snack here and there if i watch a movie or something but yeah let me know if you want me to make more of these i really enjoy documenting my life like this and if you want to see more videos make sure to click through one of these on the right and of course subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time really soon